Hello everybody. It's been a minute since I made one of these face on camera videos and for going into the weekend, if you caught my last video, I was definitely thinking about talking about our new releases coming up. Mole Rats, New Vipers, Shooter, Chuckles off the top of my head. Um, but this cool guy showed up today. So I actually want to, you know, open this up and take a look at it. So in this video, I'm going to do a couple of things that I wanted to do. I'm going to talk briefly about those, but really I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, then I'm going to get my thoughts on scrap iron here, scrap iron here. Then I have a prediction for the near future. Okay, and with that, I'm going to open this off camera and then give my thoughts on this guy. And first, I want to talk briefly about our new upcoming releases, Walmart exclusives and the SDCC exclusive Chuckles. Okay, first things first. Mole Rats, Crimson Alley Viper, Shooter, Chuckles. I think these are all great. When I've been looking through comments recently on other people's videos and around the internet, it seems like there are some people who aren't really feeling these, which great for them because in my experience, uh, Walmart exclusives, and you know, I'm not saying anything that hasn't been said before here, but I feel like Walmart could do a little bit better. Now, I don't feel like oh, they shouldn't do Walmart exclusives because I feel like if they didn't have the um, deal with Walmart or Target or Amazon or whatever, we would just get less figures. So I think that I'd rather have more figures, more variety of figures. And even if some of them are hard to get or more a little bit more of a challenge, at least they're out there. Whereas if we didn't have the Target and Walmart and Amazon exclusives, then I feel like it's more likely that we would just have less variety of characters to choose from. So, you know, I'll take the good with the bad. With that said, I'm actually kind of in love with all these figures and they're all honestly ones that when I first saw them, I was like, oh, okay, I wasn't over the moon. But then the more I looked at their um, photography, the more and more I like it. So I am hopeful to be able to snag a Chuckles. I definitely want to grab a couple of those mole rats, at least one of those alley vipers. I'm not trying to army build like crazy. I'm also not trying to spend a ton of money and go crazy trying to hunt many of these down. And I definitely want one of those uh, shooters or a, <laughs> I would definitely want a shooter figure because I think she looks awesome too. Um, also, we were told a few things recently that I'm excited for. Doc, that was high on my list. I can't wait to see some digital renders or just the figure drop for that. But my assumption is that would be more in like next year when we actually get it. Um, but the 788 fire team, we don't really know what that is. They go along with the Hiss tank. My expectation is that that will be very cool. And that leads to a prediction I actually want to make in this video. So hang out for that. And right now, let's look at scrap iron. So I just finished up taking several pictures with scrap iron and his drone. Um, off the top, I'm going to say this figure and accessory are pretty top tier. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add those pictures into this video or if I'm going to make a separate short out of them. And speaking of shorts, go ahead and catch the short I made earlier today featuring the new rock and roll figure in, a, in some diorama environments fighting some Cobra Vipers. Back to Scrap Iron. The drone is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the blast effects around it so you can see some of that. Um, and maybe pose our figure a little bit, put his helmet on. 
these blast effects are pretty great i think um as if maybe a missile hit right here or here or something like it blew up on the ground and there's smoke coming out of it whatever i'll just place them around it doesn't matter i'm not really setting up a photo scene here or anything these pop in fairly easily just plug it in here plug it in there uh, we won't do the sep the second one well screw it let's do it scrap iron standing pretty close to the blast but hey what he's all burnt up already anyway so what's the difference right now nah, i don't know <laughs> i think it looks pretty great i don't want to move it too much because i know this is kind of pretty close to centered um he has his remote control gun fits in the holster well fairly easy to get into his hand Uh, the arm articulations well now he is wearing one of those vests so the crunch is kind of not there um i actually haven't bothered trying to even bend his legs yet legs seem pretty good i feel like on the more recent figures and waves their legs have been a little bit better i remember some previous waves it felt like their legs were gonna break <clears throat> when you bent the knees and there's a lot of uh stiffness in these joints and the hips this doesn't seem to have that this is pretty solid in my at least the one i got so you never know with qc these days um i'm happy with it and the only thing i'm not happy about i guess is all the money <laughs> that we're dropping right now um, so it's kind of, I guess I said it earlier or later, depending on how this is cut or not at all, depending on how this is edited, but you got to take the good with the bad with this happy to get a lot of figures, happy to get the torpedo shipwreck, all of that. But it's like cha-ching, cha-ching. Now the, uh, dragon, uh, dragonfly. So I'm not complaining. It would be nice if it was spread out a little bit more, but it is what it is you just gotta i guess budget for it and you know get what you can get uh don't have to pre-order everything um so pre-order the ones that you think are actually going to be hard to get and i recommend not pre-ordering stuff that you feel like you can get anytime and that's one way to manage this a little bit i guess okay so here it is everybody my big prediction and maybe it's not much of a prediction or maybe it's not really a prediction at all but <laughs> <laughs> my thinking is that this 788 fire team is likely going to be some version of blue shirts at least that's what i'm really hopeful for if we check out these um product images these action images or whatever you want to call them from the his tank campaign from last year there are several um photos that show the his tank driver with a few uh cobra infantry working on the tank now, at the time, um, the driver was definitely coming out. When they were taking these photographs, my guess is that they had the mold for the driver complete, but not the other characters because they were um, unlocked tiers. So maybe they were just using the infantry as like a random trooper, kind of a generic troop to have in the photos. However, I think it would make a lot of sense for the 788 fire team to be a specialized brand of infantry or trooper or something like that. And my guess would be that it would be two troopers or infantry and one officer. Okay, so that's my prediction for 788 fire team, blue shirts or troopers, however you want to call them. And I think we'll learn more about this soon. So we'll see if I'm right. We'll see if I'm wrong before we know it. And you can come back here and joke on me if you like, or tell me how uh, <laughs> spot on I was. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. And I almost forgot, we're definitely going to make it, baby. 
pushing 18.2 as of the time of this recording. By tomorrow night, what, tomorrow night at midnight, we're definitely going to get that extra 800 people. We're going to blow this 19K out of the water. That's what I'm thinking. So, hello, crazy legs, and I'll see you all in the next video.